Good morning, world. Today, I'm going to take you to Rodolph Grotto and Gardens in Rodolph, Wisconsin. Set in a beautiful area of trees and flowers with man-made rocks, the grotto was built as a fulfillment of a promise made by Reverend Father Philip Wagner. While studying for priesthood in 1912 in Vienna, Austria, he suffered stress from exhaustion, and with a seriously failing health, he went for a pilgrimage in the sanctuary of Lourdes in Lourdes, France, where it is the site of Mary's apparition and it is known as a healing place. On his pilgrimage, he promised to Mary that if his health be restored and he will be ordained as a priest, he will build a shrine in her honor. He was ordained in 1915 and in 1917, he was assigned as a parish priest at St. Philomena Parish Church and as an administrator of a school he established in the parish. While being a parish priest and an administrator of the school, he decided to build the grotto in Mary's honor at the grounds in um, St. Philomena Parish in Rodolph, Wisconsin. Since then, the church has been rededicated and renamed and now called as St. Philip the Apostle in honor of Father Philip Wagner. So if you haven't been in the Rudolph Grotto and Gardens in Rudolph, Wisconsin, allow me to show you around. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. God bless. He promised that if he get healed, he will build a grotto for Virgin Mary. And this is his grotto. Pray for us, Saint Philomena. The story of Philomena, since you asked who is she, in May 25, 1802, excavators in the ancient catacomb of Saint Priscilla in Rome came upon a well preserved shelf tomb sealed with terracotta slabs in the manner usually reserved for nobility of great martyrs. The tomb was marked with three tiles inscribed with the following confusing words, Lumina Paxti Comfi. However, if one places the first tile last and thus separates the words properly, the very intelligible sentence emerges Paxti Comfi Lumina, which is Peace be with you, Philomena. Saint Philomena, pray for us. Wishing well. Make a wish, this is toss a coin. Deep. Obviously, there's no water. Father Wagner. Yes. I don't want it. <laughs> oh, these are the all the stations. Okay. Our Lady of Fatima with the three children. In honor of those 
serving the nation 1941 to 1945. For God and country, duty on our country, freedom is not free. Remembering their sacrifices, Imagine how they arrange these stones here. Wisconsin in miniature. Very serene. Hi. The Seven Sorrows of Mary. The Seven Sorrows of Mary. Number one, the prophecy of Simon. of Simon. Number two, the flight to Egypt. The flight to Egypt because Jesus was lost. Number three, oh no, the flight to Egypt when she was pregnant. Um, the loss of Jesus in the temple. Number four, Mary meets Jesus on the way to Calvary. Number five, Jesus dies on the cross. Number six, Jesus. No, number six. Mary receives the dead body of Jesus. Number seven. Jesus is placed in the tomb. This were the seven sorrows of Mary. Really is important. Even poison ivy. So this water just trickled down before. There's the boy, and there's a paddle there. This area of the Grotto Gardens is so many different kinds of hostas here. Very, very peaceful here. Good for a Sunday visit. Number one, Station of the Cross. Jesus is condemned to death. Number two, Station two, Jesus carries his cross. Number three, Jesus falls for the first time. Sorrows. Number four, Jesus meets his mother. Simon of Siren helps Jesus carry the cross. Number six, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Number seven, Jesus falls for the second time. Number 
chapter 8 Jesus speaks to the weeping woman of Jerusalem oh, number 9 Jesus falls for the third time. Number 10. Jesus stripped of his clothing. Number 11. This is heartbreaking. Number 11. Jesus is nailed to the cross. Number 12. Jesus dies on the cross. Number 13. Jesus is taken down from the cross. Number 14. Jesus is laid in the tomb. Caution, low ceiling. So this is where supposed to be the tomb. See over the Holy Sepulchre. This is a trunk of the tree became a part of the grotto around 1960. It is from a box elder on the Van Asten homestead north of Little Shoot, Wisconsin. Leo Van Asten of Rudolph transported the tree to its present location. Handcrafted by a Tyrolese wood carver in the early 1900s, this cross effect was purchased by Father Wagner during his travels in the Austrian Alps. He brought it to, his, to this country in 1912 and built this special shrine for it in 1930. Note the details, especially in the fingers and toes. Wow. Remember St. Bernadette is the girl? Yeah, we went to her house in France. <laughs> and this is St. Bernadette. She invited us for lunch, didn't she? Yeah. And uh, Our Lady of Lourdes. Lourdes. Wisconsin miniature. Oh, okay. Wisconsin. It's really worth visiting here. Very peaceful. Dear friends, thank you for your visit to Grow to Gardens. I hope you have enjoyed a pleasant time in these beautiful surroundings. This elegant outdoors should be more than more pleasure grounds, knowing the value of the everlasting. This floral shrine should be a place of consolation and a symbol of those high ideals which forever endure. I am sure that like myself, you are interested in the continuation of this work of art and willing to give it lasting honor and fame by helping to make it not only a place of interest and of recreation, but also a place of prayer. Your assistance for the completion of these gardens is kindly solicited. These givings are the only guarantee of the shrine's lasting success. They will find special favor on the altars here. Thank you. Happy journey and come again, Father Wagner.